Does your iPhone battery life suck? Well, let's fix that. So the first thing you can do is go into settings here and type in auto brightness and just make sure that you have that turned on because if you have it turned off, it might be brighter than it needs to be. And just make sure also that you adjust the brightness lower if you are able to because um, having high brightness is definitely one of the biggest things that will kill your battery life. Another big thing you can do is if you are not using Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, just turn those off because it'll save a lot of battery. Like if you are on your data and you're not using your AirPods or whatever, just turn those off. It'll save a lot of battery. Another big thing you can do is hop into display and brightness and settings and check your auto lock settings. If it's set to never or one of the higher numbers, set it lower so it sleeps as soon as it can to save battery. Because if you're listening to music and you leave your screen unlocked and you have it set to never, it'll just stay unlocked and drain your battery. So set it lower. Another thing is Siri and search. If you have listen for Hey Siri on, turn it off, especially on an older iPhone that can drain battery because it's always listening for it. One of the biggest things I've noticed, especially on older iPhones that helps so much is background app refresh. This drains so much battery life and it doesn't really do much. So just turn it off. I turn it off on my current phone, even though the battery life is pretty good. I just turn it off because why not? I mean, it doesn't really do anything. So yeah, turn off background app refresh. If there's certain apps that you want it on for, you can keep it on and then you can just switch off certain apps. So it's up to you. But generally speaking, you probably don't need it. Now for this next thing, go into privacy and then location services and it'll show all of the apps you have and what location stuff they are using. So if your app is set to always be tracking your location, you can change that to while using the app and that'll save a lot of battery because why does it need to track your location if you're not using the app? Here's one that might surprise you. Your flashlight takes up a lot of battery. So um, if you are looking here in the control center, if you hold down that flashlight, you'll see this and you can actually change how bright it is. So if you don't need it to be super bright, like just set it to like one of the lower ones. And what's cool about this is um, even after you're done, like once you turn it on again, it saves that setting. See, it's still at two. So if you always want it to be at, um, you know, three, it'll just always stay there. So yeah, if you don't need a super bright flashlight, set it lower. It'll save a lot of battery. Finally, if you are running low on battery or you need your battery to last extra long, turn on low power mode. Um, the ways you can turn this on is in settings and then battery. Um, it'll also pop up when you are at 20% or 10% asking if you want to turn it on. And another thing you can do is you can go to control center. And if you look at these like included controls and then more controls, there is one that will say, if I remove it here, it'll say low power mode. And if you add that, then you'll have a toggle for it in your control center, which I have on. I think it's very useful that I can just quickly pull this up and toggle it on. And finally, if you've done all these things and you are still struggling, you might want to hop into battery and then battery health and see what your battery health is at. So if your battery health on an older iPhone, like an iPhone 7 or 6S or 6, if you are anywhere under 90, you might start to notice, you know, some issues with your battery life, um, especially if it gets kind of closer to 85. If you have a newer iPhone, you might want to replace it around 80. But basically, like, if you are still having issues with your, getting through the day, um, you should probably just replace your battery. And, um, yeah, there's tons of tutorials on how to do that on iFixit's website. So, yeah, definitely give that a look. Anyways, those are all the tips I have for you. I hope I helped you save some battery life. Anyways, I'll see you in my next video.